Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Joe Bosman, and I'm going to go be going over pass by sharing today with JavaScript. Uh, we're going to be going over the Reacto example we did last week, uh, pass by value, pass by reference, and then what's called pass by sharing, which is actually just still pass by reference in JavaScript. Um, so here's the Reacto example we did last week, um, and maybe by a show of hands, how many people actually understood what was going on? Awesome. I thought there were going to be a bunch of hands. Okay. Um, so to kind of jog your memories of what we were doing last week, uh, first we declared three numbers here in the center. Uh, we had num, object 1, and object 2. We were setting num equal to 10, and we were setting object 1 and 2 equal to objects with an item property set to unchanged. Um, and then we were calling this change stuff function, which we were passing the variables into. Um, and if you look at the change stuff function, we were multiplying num by 10, setting it equal to itself. Object 1, we were setting its item property to changed. And object 2, we were setting this equal to a new object with an item property set to changed. Um, and here's what we actually reported out. And I think most people understood the pass by value here. Um, where it got hairy was when we were looking at and trying to set the item properties for object 1 and object 2. Um, and that's what I'm going to be explaining today, and I hope I can get all of your hands up by the end of this. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, so as I said before, I think most of you understood pass by value, but I'm just going to be going over this example to kind of lay the framework for how I'm going to be explaining the other two examples. Um, so here to start, we're declaring a num and setting it equal to 3, and I'm using a basket here to represent that variable. Uh, then we console log out what we place into our basket, which is 3, and you can see in the bottom left that we're outputting 3. Um, then we've declared a function here, which I've named pass by value, and one thing I've done differently than, what, than how it was done in the Reacto example is I've renamed the function inside of our uh, pass by value function to something other than what our num variable was. So in the Re Reacto example, those variable names are the same. Um, and I think the reason they kind of do this in examples is they want to make sure that you understand pass by value, but I just wanted to make sure that I'm clear here and hoping this gives you a little better idea of what's actually going on. So when we actually call the pass by value function, uh, we're passing in our num variable, and what we do when we jump into the pass by value function is we actually make a copy of that variable. And as you can see here, we copy three, and we actually place that into our func num basket, which is our pass by value variable. Um, inside of that function, we're executing this line here, which is func num set equal to 5. And what we actually do there is overwrite our value of 3, and we set fo put 5 in our basket. So when we console log that out at the end, this is why we get 3 on both sides. And I think this clearly displays here why you output 3 on both sides. You actually overwrote the copy that you passed into your pass by value function. Um, so let's jump into pass by reference. So this is a, a similar setup here, except we've got an object one that we're using. And I've also changed the function to pass by reference. Um, so same type of setup here. We've got a, a basket named object one, and we're passing it an object with an item property set to unchanged. We're console logging out that value. Um, and then we're defining a function called pass by reference. Um, I've renamed the basket here to reference to kind of make it I guess a little easier to understand. Um, and then we're going into this pass by reference. And here's the key difference uh, between pass by value and pass by reference. We're actually passing in the variables um, address here. And you can see I've put addresses beneath both baskets. Um, and if you think about it, this is still pass by value. It's just what we're actually passing in here, which is an address. Um, and that's the difference between pass by value and pass by reference. JavaScript under the hood sees that it's actually a primitive. So it's a, if it's a number or a string or a Boolean, um, it sees that that's a primitive type and we're going to use pass by value. Whereas if we're passing in an object, it sees that that's actually an object, so it knows to pass in the address. Um, so when we go into this function, we're making a copy of the address and passing it in to our basket. Um, and here's the kind of the, a key item to pay attention to here of what's going on. And the key thing here is this dot. And what that's actually doing is dereferencing the address. And what that means is that says 
go to this address in, in memory and find where item lives and set it to this changed value. So here we can see that that actually updates our original variable that we had. So when we jump out of our function, uh, we actually see that it's changed. And that's the key difference between pass by value and pass by reference. We can actually manipulate uh, the original item that we had passed in. So let's go over the pass by sharing. And this is kind of, and JavaScript calls it pass by sharing. And what I'm going to go over is actually why that is. So here we have the same setup as before with the pass by reference example. Um, nothing has changed. Uh, the key difference here is when we actually get into our pass by sharing uh, function. Uh, so we're still copying over that address. But when we get into this pass by sharing function, the difference is, remember before we were doing that dot operator and actually dereferencing the address. And what that meant again was going to that spot in memory and saying, let's change this item property. But here, um, we're actually overwriting our memory address, similar to what we were doing in the pass by value. So as you can see here, we've overwritten that 16 address that we had there and set it equal to an object. And that's what doesn't allow us to actually change the item property for what we're actually trying to accomplish with this step. And this is actually a problem with JavaScript. There's no way to actually dereference a full object in JavaScript. With other languages like C++, there's actually a dereferencing operator that you can actually grab access to a full object, but you can't do that with JavaScript. It only allows you to set property items on the objects that you're passing in. So when we return from this, that's why we have an item unchanged, and it's kind of or that's why it's kind of confusing to people. Um, so let's go over this again real quick. Um, we had a pass by value example where we were passing in a copy and overwriting uh, that copy inside of our second basket there. Then we had a pass by reference example, and the key there was that dot operator um, and again saying go to this address location and look for where item lives and that's what actually allowed us to change the property there. Um, and then pass by sharing which again is still pass by reference but it was more of not understanding what was going on with JavaScript that wasn't accomplishing what we actually wanted to do. Um, so in a nutshell that is pass by sharing. Um, so let's, let's see a show of hands maybe. Does anybody feel like they understand it better? Excellent. Thank you for lying <laughs> if you didn't. <laughs> um, and that's all I have for today.